Hey, hey, meu nome é Elda e este é o... Aprendiz de Sueco? Esta é a segunda parte do vídeo, a Suécia é socialista? Se você ainda não assistiu a primeira parte, você pode assistir clicando no primeiro link da descrição. Nesta segunda parte, eu perguntei aos meus colegas suecos. Será que a Suécia finalmente se convenceu de que o liberalismo americano é o melhor modelo? Assista aí comigo. I would like to strongly say no, that we don't think the American state is a better way of living, like they have a lot of poverty and people are really depending on the status they are born into. But I think that the companies think that that is a good state. Like it, if you like take it apart, if you see the people, then the American state is not good. But for the companies, that regulation is good. So it depends how you, which perspective you have to that question. Yeah, I think that's always a matter of who you ask, because this trends, as in Sweden, uh, as you say, it will um, it will be beneficial for certain companies, but those companies are actually mostly big companies. Mm -hmm. So small companies and middle-sized companies, which is counted up to a staff of 200 people, they are generally not benefit, beneficial from the, this general neoliberal trend and increased trading with America, for example, or other countries in Europe. So essentially you have to see from which standpoint, and as you were saying, for companies, very beneficial, big companies to have a more liberal state. Uh, as we know, um, big companies is mostly represented by like a minority of people. Mm. Uh, I think for majority of people, it's not really beneficial, as you are saying, that as we can see in America and also in Sweden, um, that inequality is rising, mm. poverty also, also uh, rising. And that's, I think, is, um, you need to look at those trends and analyze why. Mm. Yeah, we don't like to say class in Sweden. I don't know if we are middle class or higher class, middle class, higher middle mm. class. But if we would have the American state, then I think it would um, say not benefit us as well. Mm. I couldn't have gone to university, for example. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. it's not only the, the poor. No, mm. of course. Yeah, I, I, I think that Sweden is very in, in, influenced by the new liberal way of uh, America in both like culture and also like regulation since the European Union are pressuring us and the United States of America is pressuring us as well since like the trade agreement right now which is coming up and everything so yeah, we almost have put ourselves in a situation where we can't say no to the influence of, mm -hmm. of American politics but I do agree that a lot of Swedes maybe uh, think that the core values in America's politics is horrible with like so many poor people and still so many oh, i mean still a few so rich people people and you have to think that sweden and, and and the states are very different like they they have minimum wage and we have another way of regulating pay for example through unions and they're pretty strong in sweden which i think is is quite good because that's how uh, we keep you know the status of professions at a high level and and keep the pay pretty high uh, for a lot of people but yeah the labor market for example is becoming a little bit how it is in the states as well like short-term uh, labor and yeah and, and that is in its way a neoliberal way of forming labor and that's going on in the UK and the Europe overall so we are pretty influenced by the way they yeah. do policies. I think you brought up an interesting point with the trade agreements, that we are also in a lot of trade agreements all over the world <clears throat> with different countries. And that is very, as like, yeah, you should have less um, barriers for trade, which means that we need to compromise some aspects. Maybe we compromise, yes, uh, environmental standards, In you see rel relatively, uh, we have kind of high if you compare it to other countries, but with trade agreements and uh, free trade, we need to decrease those. Uh, so I think that's like also very warning that we need to be aware that with trade agreements and increased trade, it comes consequences in often in terms of 
you need to compromise environment or maybe food standards that we are more allowed to have um, maybe antibiotica and different um, stuff that shouldn't be in there in the food mm. and that is a, a consequence of increased trade and uh, free trade i think all these like broader points show pretty clear that mm -hmm. even though we might have some values we are adapting a lot to like the global values instead mm -hmm. in the western world i've read that 70 percent of all the decisions in the city council is somehow affected by the European Union mm -hmm. in a stage before. So, I mean, even if we would like to be really socialistic, that would be impossible since mm -hmm. we are so dependent of so many liberal countries these days. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah due to that the European Union are over uh, the national state in the decision. Yeah, Hi hierarchy. And trade agreements mm -hmm. and stuff. So. Yeah. We would probably say that Sweden has a streak of socialism, not complete, of course, socialism, mm -hmm. but has other um, ways of, for example, like capitalism is very important in Sweden and the policies and stuff. So um, you can't say that Sweden is completely socialistic. I, I wouldn't say that at all. But, but would you say that we are the most socialistic or socialist state in the world? Uh, no. no. No? Which would you say? Which country? I think it's impossible to compare yeah. because if you like compare I don't know, Cuba or whatever in South America, it's totally different uh, things because they, they have like, they have been invaded and stuff and was building up the countries from that part and have had poverty and, you know, dictators and stuff. So, so the socialism in other parts of the world, I would say is uh, impossible to compare with socialism in the, in the Nordic countries. Mm -hmm. But socialism like oligarchy is still the same. Um, more than yeah, but I think work. you can understand it from uh, some power relations. If you know the socialist, I think about the definition like that culture. It's really theoretical. Yeah, but that is not due to the culture values. It is in reality, but the definition is still the same. No, because you can have a post-colonialistic perspective on mm. socialism as well. So if even if you're theoretical, it's hard for me. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, if you, it's important when you're having this discussion for people who maybe Brazilian people they like uh, want to know more. So it's you need to separate concepts. Like we have a history of socialism, but it's also very strong history of social democracy. Democracy, but in the same way as we all been talking so much about now is that we are living in a global economy and we are so influenced by the global um, discourses which is capitalism and neoliberalism. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I could say, I could agree with that. Yeah, I also agree that we are a social democratic still, but it's changing uh, and that we are influenced by capitalism and neoliberalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would also agree. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a bit more doubtful with how, if we are still a social democratic country, but okay, I agree that we still have some values from it at least. <sighs> Yeah, we can we can agree that 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 is how we are, but we're moving maybe away from that a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah, it's since the seventies or eighties. I think yeah. we made a strong move at, uh, away from social democracy mm. since that's the trend. But I don't think that the Swedish people want to that the welfare will disappear entirely, like in America. I think he's very influenced by that liberal. Maybe it changes. Maybe in a half year, we don't want the welfare. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think, of course, we're, we're still a work welfare state, but uh, the conditions are changing all the time. Like people are, they have to have certain conditions in order to get um, certain things, and it's much harder for people that are in a, in a bad situation to get help, and they have to do so much more today. Uh, for example, if you're a, an addict, a drug addict, or yeah, something like that. Um, it takes so many steps in order for you to get help or get, you know, and it's quite hard for somebody, somebody that has an issue or a problem in their life to, you know, get 50 documents and do this and do that. So I think it, there's a lot of conditions put on people today. And that's in a way how the welfare state is changing. Um, but of course it's still a welfare state. We, we, um, the state tries to take care of a lot of people, but um, it's becoming harder, I would say.
for for a lot of not privileged people in society in Sweden. The classes are more appearing. Yeah. E se você gostou desse vídeo, clique no botão gostei, se inscreve no canal e ativa o sininho para participar da loteria do YouTube. Dizem que se você ativar o sininho, o YouTube vai avisar ou não toda vez que eu postar um vídeo novo no canal. Boa sorte pra gente e rei do... Thank you, you Brasil. Tchau. Tchau. See you another day, baby. Yeah, you might again. Obrigada. Obrigada. Obrigada, Brasil. E... Até mais. Até mais. Até mais. E, sim, nós queremos dizer obrigado por nos enviar a Marta, a soccer player. Ela é muito really boa e nós gostamos de assistir ela. Bye. 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 B